a massive new hub gets announced in Texas, and could a massive amount of geothermal energy in Indonesia make it a global hydrogen exporter? All of this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. So the big questions in the energy industry today are, how is hydrogen the primary driving force behind the evolution of energy? Where is capital being deployed for hydrogen projects globally? And where are the best investment opportunities for early adopters who recognize the importance of hydrogen? I will address the critical issues and give you the information you need to deploy capital. Those are the questions that will unlock the potential of hydrogen, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Paul Rodden, and welcome to the Hydrogen Podcast. In a press release on November 10th, industry, university, and energy transition stakeholders unite to advance the hydrogen ecosystem in Texas and the U.S. Gulf Coast region. The high-velocity hub, comprised of leading energy companies and organizations, announced on the 10th that it is applying for U.S. Department of Energy Regional Clean Hydrogen Hub funding to accelerate the development of clean hydrogen projects in Texas, southwest Louisiana, and the U.S. Gulf Coast. GTI Energy, the Center for Houston's Future, the University of Texas at Austin, Air Liquide, and Chevron are among the founding members of the high-velocity hub. In a quote from Paula Gant, president and CEO of GTI Energy, the name High Velocity conveys the idea that we have a tremendous opportunity to accelerate the creation of a clean hydrogen market at the pace needed to meet aggressive decarbonization goals for communities in our nation and around the globe. She continues by saying, we need hydrogen deployment at scale. And this hub will lay the foundation with complete end-to-end demonstrations of an integrated network, match supply and demand regionally or locally, and leverage existing infrastructure to deliver resilient, reliable, and sustainable clean energy. And in a quote from Brett Perlman, CEO at the Center for Houston's Future, we are pleased to be partnering with our colleagues at GTI Energy in creating High Velocity Hub as the implementation platform for the shared vision of a Texas-sized global clean hydrogen ecosystem created by our collaborative stakeholder process. He also says the realization of this vision will be achieved faster with clean hydrogen hub funding under the bipartisan infrastructure law. And in a quote from Adam Peters, CEO of Air Liquide North America, at Air Liquide, we're proud to bring our 60 years of hydrogen expertise to the high velocity hub and to join our customers and industry partners in this initiative. Together, we will support the U.S. Department of Energy's vision for hydrogen ecosystem development and work to further deploy low carbon and renewable hydrogen throughout the Gulf Coast. The high velocity hub has great potential to model hydrogen's ability to decarbonize industrial basins while transitioning our community's workforce towards high paying clean energy jobs. And in a quote from Jay Hartzell, president at the University of Texas at Austin, the University of Texas is a national leader in energy research where hundreds of faculties and students are working with private sector partners and other academic institutions to develop, test, and deploy the next generation of clean hydrogen technology. He also says UT Austin is proud and excited to lend its energy expertise and hydrogen experience to the high velocity hub and work with its members to ensure that Texas flourishes in the coming hydrogen energy economy. And lastly, in a quote from Rich Burns, Chief Infrastructure Officer at Port Houston, accelerating clean energy technologies is vital to addressing global climate challenges as well as local air quality. At Port Houston is excited to participate in advancing these efforts with the high velocity hub. The hub will benefit trucking and maritime sectors and our communities tremendously with cleaner transportation, lower emissions, new jobs, and both social and environmental equity. The Gulf Coast is already one of the nation's largest hydrogen producers, and it is home to a diverse array of energy resources, including hydrogen production facilities and pipelines, a large base of industrial energy consumers, and a skilled technical workforce. The High Velocity Hub will build on the goals outlined in the Houston Clean Hydrogen Roadmap. Core to its vision, the High Velocity Hub aims to support a just and equitable energy transition that aligns community needs with clean energy. The Hub will engage environmental and social justice organizations in the Gulf Coast region to grow the local economy and create jobs in disadvantaged communities. 
Okay, so a very exciting announcement and one that I've been waiting for. Now this announcement was sent to me by Michael Lewis, who is heading up the H2 at Scale project at UT Austin. And it's important to note that this hub was directly grown out of the H2 at Scale project with Frontier and GTI Energy. And as far as hydrogen hubs in the United States goes, this probably has the best chance of getting developed as they hit every major criteria for creating hubs. They have the skill, they have the know-how, they have the best technical resources in the world, all of that along with major financial backing. Next, in an article from Upstream Online, Amanda Battersby writes, Going Green, Pertamina's vision for hydrogen production in Indonesia. Indonesia's Pertamina, Chevron of the US, and Singapore's Keppel have signed a joint study agreement to explore the development of selected green hydrogen and green ammonia projects using renewable energy located primarily on the island of Sumatra, Indonesia. The JSA intends to evaluate the feasibility of developing a green hydrogen facility with production capacity of at least 40,000 tons per year, powered by 250 to 400 megawatts of geothermal energy in the initial phase. The hydrogen production facility could have the potential to scale up to 80,000 to 160,000 tons per year, depending on the availability of geothermal energy as well as market demand. Danif Denisaputro, chief executive of Pertamina Power and New Renewable Energy said, the development of green hydrogen and green ammonia holds a significant role in Indonesia's net zero emissions roadmap with its potential we believe that Indonesia will play a key role in green hydrogen production in Asia. We're very excited with this strategic collaboration as we know that Keppel and Chevron are reputable companies and have the same vision in energy transition as we do. Indonesia accounts for approximately 40% of global geothermal resources, providing opportunities to utilize geothermal energy as a reliable and stable energy source to produce green ammonia or hydrogen. In a quote from Cindy Lim, Keppel Infrastructure Chief Executive, Indonesia is a country with vast resources and enormous potential for renewable and low carbon energy. We are happy to partner with industry leaders, Pertamina and Chevron, to explore the first of its kind use of geothermal and other renewable energy to develop green hydrogen and green ammonia projects and support Indonesia's energy transition efforts as well as catalyze investments in green energy supply chain in the regions. According to an International Energy Agency report, Indonesia, the world's fourth most populous country, has a viable path to reaching its target of net zero emissions by 2060. Hydrogen and ammonia are expected to be important lower carbon fuels as part of this roadmap. Ammonia can also be used to transport hydrogen and potentially be used to replace bunker fuels as a lower carbon solution in the global maritime industry. The JSA aims to draw on the complementary strengths of Pertamina, Indonesia's natural energy company, Keppel Infrastructure, that has expertise in developing and operating large-scale energy and environmental infrastructure projects, and U.S. supermajor Chevron. The agreement was signed on Friday at the Business 20 Investment Forum held in conjunction with the B20 Summit in Bali, Indonesia. B20 is an official G20 engagement group that represents the global business community. Okay, so what could potentially be some very big news for the energy industry in Indonesia? And this is the second large announcement I've read in just the last few months that talks about relying on geothermal energy to make hydrogen. Now, I am not an expert in geothermal energy, but as far as renewable energies go, it seems to be the most reliable. But also, when we talk about electrolytic hydrogen, one of the things that comes up is the availability of water. Well, that's not something that Indonesia is going to have to worry about, as that is an ample supply there. And so with that being said, these three companies that have entered into this JSA really elevate the legitimacy of this project going forward. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, 
you're welcome to email me directly at info at the hydrogen podcast.com. And as always, take care, stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Hey, this is Paul. I hope you liked this podcast. If you did and want to hear more, I'd appreciate it if you would either subscribe to this channel on YouTube or connect with your favorite platform through my website at www.thehydrogenpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. I very much appreciate it. Have a great day.